Ajobuchian. Say again? Ajobuchian. How to put in? How to put in? I still, I still don't know what they're talking about. It means, it means long, no, long time no see you. Long, long time, time no see. see. I mean, don't tell them teaching you Mandarin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Italian teaching a Chinese I, I boy. Guess I can use chopstick better than you with the left hand. I use hand la. I use, I use hand, hand to eat la. Man, cheat the fun. Hey. Hey, morning you guys. So today we are going from Wangsa Maju to Genting Sampa to Janda Baik. Apparently we've been doing a lot of Genting Sampa right lately. I think maybe because the, the Genting Paris haven't like officially opened so a lot of people are using this route for climbs. Uh. So here's the group and I want to introduce to you, of course everybody know the household face of Gini Boy. Hi. Lah. Later, later show. Lah. Dark, lah. <laughs> Isn't camera not good. Lah. And Gini Boy, his friend Adrian. What's up? What's up? We have Ivan, Hello. Daniel, and the gang. Today a bit ramai people lah, but again, follow SOP ah. Huh? Make sure do your COVID test before every ride. Toys. Kg you lost? How many kg you lost? In what? In when? In what? Chinese in year lah. Two, two, three weeks. Ah, three, three, weeks. three, three about three. Three, three kg three in three weeks. Uh, in two, 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 three weeks lah. Crazy. <laughs> this guy is a machine when it comes to losing weight, right? I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> the body is just like that. I so this is a common <laughs> chat. This is a common chat after Chinese New Year la, about gaining weight and losing weight. La. I haven't lost it yet. Right? Oh, yeah, I think we can go already. Right? We're off to Genting Sampah again and Jana Bay. It's like hari hari kita right here, ni, even though it's like an hour drive for some of us. <laughs> oh, it's a big satellite, man. Like searching for terrorist. What? Test. 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 Gang 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 kayo Riding around the housing area <laughs> Slowing everyone down Daniel Lau, equipped with the colorful 7am jersey. Check out the 7am jersey, mate. So colorful. Safer on the road. Safer on the road. Kesabana, Kesabana. Things gonna be a very hot day today. Looking at the clouds now, as you see, ah. Right. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a hot day today. Going towards Genting Samba. Huge crowd. Our group alone also 15 people away. Morning, morning, morning. Morning. Morning, bro. Morning, morning. Morning. Morning, morning, morning. See? So many people today. And there's some more. There's some more. Lot. Because our group are some new people, uh, new gang. Uh. I better slow down to become sweeper just in case. Turn the pull back. No. Okay, uh, last uh, Okay, last few. Oh. 15 km, we just reached HOA. So we parked 15 km away from HOA. Today, a lot of people, a lot. Okay, 15 km. So, reach 30 km means we reach the top. Here's where the climb start. So, ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you Ginny Boy. Hi. Who has been cycling for how many? About five months now. Five months. Lost how many kg? About seven to nine between there. It fluctuates. Let's say nine kg in five months. Six months, yes. Six months. Plus running. Uh. Plus running. Interview and chukup. <laughs> that should be enough to tell you to go cycling away. Right? You chukup da. Okay, today is tip on cycling. Climbing 101. When you want to up saddle, 
drop your gear, make it a bit heavier, then only upsaddle. Don't upsaddle when you high cadence. It's dangerous, you lose balance, and also you waste energy. So, best is to put to heavier gear, then upsaddle. More balance, more stability. Ivan's gonna show you upsaddle the wrong way, which is high cadence, which is the wrong way. Go. See, when upsaddle, high cadence, because your gear didn't drop, your bike becomes unbalanced and you're wasting energy. You actually use more effort, more effort. Ivan so best help me do this. So that, so don't do that. Then what you need to do is drop your gear two times and upsaddle. Ah, uh, see more stable and more pick up. Not wasting energy. Better balance and overall the right technique for us saddle while climbing. Okay, I want to introduce to you Adrian on his Polygon S8. Beautiful bike. Uh, okay, this balls. Uh, his balls is hurting. Wait. Balls. <laughs> I'm lucky I got two kids. That's why. <laughs> well, I was telling Jin, you know, every day right at Rimbayu, I cannot la, must come out and play. Must come out and play. Yeah, okay, here comes the hill. Oh, I spoke too soon. Share it. Share it. The hill. <laughs> you banyak famous, ah? Huh? lah. Bila panjat jangan cakap. Bila panjat. Jangan rakam, jangan cakap. Nafas dan kayu. Kayu ya. Well, who is this stranger? Stranger with a new bike. New bike day. Tolong lah, tolong lah, tolong lah. Wah, berapa kaya hari? Oh, total 50, 60. Wow. Madam, you already arrow position. Zul, dari mana? Mau sama maju? Oh, you kayu sini lah. You kayu sini lah. Oh. Kenapa ramai geng pakai jersey ni? Ni apa jersey ni? Rehab center. Yeah. Uh, Komisi taman ni. Oh, taman rider. Ah, ni geng, rider geng, geng satu taman lah. Yeah, geng satu taman. Ah. Geng surau dan masjid. Oh, geng surau dan masjid. Oh, lepas surau, lepas masjid. Either, either you kayu or pergi minum teh tarik. Eh, hey, kayu dulu. Oh, kayu dulu. Oh shit! Wait, take care, bro. Hey, so fun, we. All these ah, uh, gang gang masjid. After surau, they go minum or go kayu, but they say always go kayu. Best. I need to tell you something. I got bad news for you. You got no more gear. <laughs> Out of gear. Out of gear. Tula, use pussy cassette at mouth. Take some view. Beautiful view, eh? Maybe, maybe. Come on, come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. This is for you. Wait, hey, bestnya. Ni apa ni? Okay, special by Adi. Oh, Adi. Ah, so any? Ah, me tengok ya. Okay. Okay, ada apa? Enam ringgit saja. Enam ringgit. Lima ringgit, enam ringgit. Paling mahal pun. Oh. Okay. Bang, kalau you tambah stiker sini, ha, nama you ha, tambah lagi satu ringgit bang. Branded. So, you ride Kenteng Sambah, halfway, minum kopi. Thanks bro, you the best. Finally, made it. Santai, santai. Okay, where's everyone? Last group. Where's my gang? Ah, there they are. Steady bombo. Steady bomb peep peep. Ah. Okay, to the fella who gave me a coffee, thank you so much, Ray. I love free coffee. Uh, so here's the gang. Can think some pasta. Oh, if I say so long. Uh. Steady, steady bomb peep peep. Uh, you done? Ah, steady. Ah. Steady. Ah. Leg pain, ball pain, hand pain, all pain. <laughs> Tell me what not pain. Uh. <laughs> Can I talk? Hey, come in, come in, Gaka. <laughs> Steady, see all of them. All the sweat also dry already. Oh. Ay, uh, bye, sir. Uh, bye, sir. Uh. Sorry, took the start here. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, eh? Congratulations. Eh. Video, video, video. Alright, alright. Mantap, mantap. Okay. okay. It's going to be a long, long show today because there's so many people.
chit chatting and so many things to talk about. It's always nice to go cycling uh, when you see just see so many familiar faces and friends saying hi, this and that. So I, I always stand firm to this. Uh, cyclists, uh, if you are friendly with people, uh, people will be naturally friendly with you. Uh. That's the joy of cycling. Uh. Anyway, now we're going towards Janda Bike. There's one climb that's pretty steep. So I'm going to stay behind and try to guide Jin to climb up that steep, steep climb. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go in front of me. I can tell you, Ginny boy, I'm steady, boom, beep, beep, way. The fella climb 15 km, no problem. So now we're gonna go hit Janda Bai. He's definitely coming out from his comfort zone, way. Awesome. Way. But later I'll do a story about Ginny boy, which is very interesting and hopefully also quite good, lah. Which is how Ginny boy uh, survived COVID and went back cycling. Good story later. Good story later. New here, eh. the mountain here, Chante. Eh. And here's the joy of cycling, ah. especially when you go for climbing routes, ah, you get to see all these scenic views. Ah. I can't imagine if you are cycling in, say, New Zealand or, or even the Alps or Switzerland or Taiwan or whatever, I bet it's even just as beautiful. Ah. But I would say Malaysia is also very beautiful. Ah. Wonderful. Oh, so grand the view. So magnificent, mate. 100 million dollar view, bro. Okay, huh? Very steep climb. Okay, now we have to do a very steep climb, so we have to drop out here. Because if you're not prepared, it's going to be very difficult to climb up here. And this is a steep climb. Ah! Oh. How many percent is this way? Can't see. Right. Wet, wet water. Not that steep, lah. Hey! Not you you're there. Oh, no joke, eh. 11% climb. 11%. Oh. Uh, after Janda Bai, uh, I mean, after the small climb here, uh, after the Welcome Bridge, then now it's a very nice winding road. Uh. Well, Janda Bai, very nice. Uh. Actually, to be honest, I really don't remember this place. This is my second time coming here. So, we are at Pine Yard Cafe. Oh my goodness, the climb! Can book out. And the steep here. Push bike, push bike. <laughs> because the, the gate was closed, we don't know open or not. And I was at the steep junction. I uh, just push bike only lah. Push ya. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So we are at Pine Yard now. We have so many people. I don't know can come and eat. Plan because look at the crowd, man. I think if we makan here also, I have to wait for at least half an hour, at least. So, change plan. Go somewhere else. See the gang. Take photo first lah. Take photo first lah. Sorry ah. Today, too many people lah. Take photo. I like to take photo. Let me come inside here. Take photo. Photo is a good thing. Because it's memory. Memory will become history. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweat going to my eye. Okay. Oh, now you're very happy, right? They think they go the way around. Okay, like this. You want to turn right? Yeah. Too, bad yeah. Too bad we can't eat here. Too bad we can't eat here. Uh, Pine Yard Makan fail. So we're going to go somewhere else to Makan, which I don't know where. So just go lah. The group all like lost already. Oh. Trying to figure out where to go now. Really trying to figure out where to go now. It's a climb way. Hello. Hello, Climb. Hello, how are you? Oh. Hello, Climb. <laughs> I overtake anyone. <laughs> Hello, Climb. Oh my goodness, this deep. Okay, la, not that bad. La. On the right gear, la. not that bad. La. Climb, after climb, after climb. <sighs> this is at least about 8%. Wait, 9%. Ten percent. My goodness, that climb was no joke, way. Ten percent, eleven percent. Ridiculous climb. I have no idea where we are. I think that was done by after around the. I have no idea to be honest. Some of us uh, lost the uh, lost the way. 
because there's a there's quite a junction there just now. I'm quite worried that people turn go straight instead of turning left. So let's see. Wrong junction. So last set by a U turn. Turn here. Do you see Ginny Boy? Yeah. Okay. Pass there or what? So now we are doing a detour to find Jin and Adrian. I think they probably missed the junction and they are just going straight up. Huh? Yeah, way. Imagine I have to come back here later. Oh my goodness. Ginny boy, where are you? Oh my goodness. Now, using map also, we got lost already. So we made a U-turn. Hopefully we can bump to Ginny boy at the, if he's using the map. Don't know lah. Yeah, I suppose turn left, but I don't know where's Jin. I went straight to look for Jin. Oh, oh you mean you all just went straight, right? Okay lah, then we're at the junction somewhere. We'll wait for you there lah. So we found Jin and the group and we decided to stop at Makan lah. Not gonna go find the group, other group lah. That's Makan. Tell me, based on your face palette. Yeah, it's good. So it's okay. So right now we are at somewhere and we're eating something. <laughs> Let me show you the surrounding. Actually, we are quite lost because it's the first time we are doing around this route. There you go. Eating some uh, soup tulang, mihun, and goreng pisang. Okay lah. So time to fill up with a bit of carbo. Oh, it's already done, it's already done, it's already done. This business is good, man. Okay, time to makan. Ah, soup. Apparently, the popular one is soup tulang here. Because everything. Soup tulang is 15 ringgit 50 cents. With the fried banana. Oh, how to diet lah. Payback time, payback time. Ah, all this gang, they kayo from what's layang. Sudah 40 km. Tapi penuh ah, matahari ah. Si anau, they lepak ah, they a bit menyesal. Steady bro? Okay, so you all know today kan, I'm kayuing with uh, Jin. So, uh, siapa yang tak kenal, should kenal lah. Yang belum kenal, time to kenal. But I think there's one very good story that I want to have a chat with Jin for a while, which is, uh, he's actually a COVID survivor that still continues cycling, you know. So, so let's hear from Jin uh, actually what happened. Uh. So Jin, how, how how did it happen? You got COVID when? Uh? Uh, I got COVID about like maybe, if you, if you calculate today, about three weeks ago. So my daughter was tested positive. Um, what happened was uh, we came back from lunch and we saw her sleeping on the sofa and uh, it's very weird for your kid to wake up at about 11 but sleep at about 12, 30, 1 o'clock and he's like, and I asked her, I was like, oh, why, why are you sleeping? I'm tired. And when I touched her, she was having a fever and I was joking around, haha, don't tell me she got COVID. And then we tested her and that's the first time in my life I saw two lines and, uh, and obviously we freaked out because I had a, I had an infant which is uh, three months old everybody didn't know what to do here's the thing though we tested her again and it was two lines and we did the third test it was negative this is the mistake people make because they tend to think that like uh, test kits are like uh, oh you know i cannot trust test kits if you do three tests back to back you know it's your saliva becomes diluted so the first test that you do when you wake up that's the most concentrated uh, you know when you, you basically you are trying to gather more viruses for them to basically tell you you're, you're positive plus. so um, my daughter got uh, positive. We did a PCR. She was positive. Both parents were negative. I had an elderly at home. My mom, she's about 75. She's diabetic and she's got high blood pressure. So all of us were freaked out. Uh, long story short, my wife had to isolate with my daughter. We sent our, our youngest three months to my in-laws. And then uh, basically my mom was locked in a room and I was in the house attending to everybody. Um, but the thing is, it just goes without saying, after, uh, my symptoms came after the fourth day. And uh, thankfully, no fever. But uh, it, it was this it's as if you ate chili and then there's this little thing stuck in the back of your throat. It's, it's a sore throat, but not a sore throat. And for me, it was like, oh, why am I having this? I tested. And the thing is, on the same day, every morning, we decided to test ourselves. Every morning is negative. So that morning, uh, I tested myself. I was negative. But at 5 30 p.m., I had this lingering thing stuck in the back of my throat. I tested, I was positive. The whole house was, the whole house was positive. Uh, so, like, um, I think, like, uh, symptoms became worse for my mom, myself. I was coughing, phlegm, no fever. Um, uh, on the third day, I woke up like I just finished uh, climbing Genting Sampah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, no, like I just finished the marathon, my muscles were aching, back was aching, everything, every part of your muscles like flu, was aching. Like the flu pain like that. Yeah, so like I fell on my bike, from my bike, and I had a bruise, right? And that bruise was healed, but somehow that bruise came back again, oh. that ache came back again. So, the, the thing was, uh, I missed the cycling, lah, right? And I still remember the day I tested negative, ah, I'm going out cycling. <laughs> Funny thing was, um, what I could normally average uh, on flats, I found it a little bit tough because I felt like my heart rate was going really, really high. Like, out of nowhere, I'm cycling and I look down and my heart rate was like 178, 179. I'm like, okay, this is very abnormal. I mean, like, you know, I was not tired, but my heart rate was going up. Um, so that's where I paced myself down. So go out, do like, you know, 20 km rides, 21, 22, and then uh, slowly, 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 I, I did like, I did it more, more, more frequent like, like three, three times a week and stuff like that. And then after the next thing you know, Melvin is like, "Hey, you want to go get things some pa?" And my wife's like, "You sure? No, you just recovered." <laughs> and here I am. Like, I mean, like today I'm fine. I think like, uh, COVID, uh, okay, like getting COVID is not the end of the world. That's one thing everybody should know. Yes, it is scary, but if you're vaccinated and you're boosted and uh, and you enjoy sports, I think it shouldn't hinder you from going out to do whatever you want to do. La. I so, feel it's... So, so you think the vaccine is the, probably one of the biggest lifesaver for you? La. Of course! Yeah. My doctor basically told my mom, head on, and the vaccine saved your life. Because she basically went for a full body checkup, the lungs were clear. Okay. Nothing, no scarring, no nothing. Uh, although she was coughing worse than me, yeah? uh, and you know, she was feeling very heaty. Uh, and uh, you know, like we treated every symptom with medication, cough, cough uh, medicine, uh, fever, fever medicine, but we all, none of us had fever. Uh, lost taste of smell though, you know, like I, I wiped my backside, <laughs> I don't smell anything. Like, yeah, and uh, it lasted for five days, um, but I think like, yeah, the vaccine definitely helped. Uh, here's something to note. If you're watching and you got kids, kids recover faster. Number two, if you're breastfeeding, uh, if, you are, if you have COVID, your breast milk is gold. It, it basically your body it works in mysterious ways. It will create an antibody to fight the virus. Your breast milk is basically gold. You know why? Because my wife made me drink her breast milk. <laughs> just, just for fun, she's like, "Hey, you wanna try?" And she makes it with the normal milk. And I drank it, and like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, okay. Now I'm curious. How did it taste like? Very sweet. Very sweet though. Like seriously, surprisingly. seriously, surprisingly, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. No wonder kids like it. So, uh, um, because you know, like when everybody when everybody gets COVID, no one get no one's prepared for it. Yeah. So you always tend to always want to basically get the best for yourself, best medicine, yeah. best antibodies, and best antibodies. People will tell you what you listen, and then uh, that's 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 how it was though. I want to tell people that you don't need to be afraid of COVID, but at the same time, don't take it lightly because when you get it, it's a massive inconvenience. You'll probably survive. But the thing is, don't be selfish and go around and spread it to people who might not survive it. Correct. So that's uh, so that's that's the most important thing. Uh, yeah, I follow SOPs. I had friends who had relatives who were positive, but yet went for reunion dinners. Oh, yo. Really, really selfish. And low sang without mask. Some of yes, them. Yes, exactly. And it, and when they were questioned why you did that, they're like, never mind lah. You know, everybody's gonna get it. Don't have that mentality because yes, but the majority will survive. But what about the 0.3% who have to basically admit to hospital and get like ventilators into bed? Yeah, you, you don't want that. You don't want that. So yeah. Yeah, that's, that's basically my story. Okay, now the best part is let's check out Jin's bike. Oh. So check out Jin's bike. It's a track in Monda. SLR, right? Yeah, you know why? Because I was Googling track in Monda and Melvin's video came out first. <laughs> and he called it the Piao Piao Piao. Piao Piao. I call it the Piao Piao bike. You want to get, you want to race up? Any clients are a responsive bike. Pow pow pow! I will dub this bike ah. Uh, pow 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 is the name I'll call this bike. And I was like, oh wow, it looks nice. But it you know, nice. the, the, that color that you were riding, not so. But then when I searched for it and I saw all the colorways, I was like, oh so my god. Options. My favorite color is blue and red. Yeah. Always. So when I saw this, uh, I was a bit hesitant. But I, I wanted to go for the entry level. Okay, you know like, like as usual, stocks were all gone. Yeah. Um, but when I started talking to Melvin, Melvin decided to point me to buy this version instead. So I'm not gonna say what it is. I mean like, if you know, you know, you don't. But uh, <laughs> yeah. No I mean, regret. No regret. I actually, you know what? No regret. I, like, um, people will never understand until they get into cycling. Once you get into it, like for me, I go out at night after a long days of work, I will cycle for one and a half hours. Uh, no distractions. It is my, it is, it, it is my space where I just, alright, no stress, uh, exercise, and I think, 
some some of my films were made thinking on from writing. Yeah, but but, oh. but please 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 pay attention when you're writing. Uh, and uh, it's just yeah, like you said, lah, therapy, lah. I enjoy I enjoy a lot. I I have no regrets and. Uh, the problem, the, no, the only problem is like, you know, when you buy a bike, you keep wanting to upgrade stuff. Oh, oh that's why you upgrade all the way. Do, yeah. do not ace already. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. So what's the weight of the bike? The weight of the bike is 6 point something, like 6 point, 6 point 8 2. I was talking about the Dura Ace. Yeah, so like, uh, I think this bike uh, was about to arrive with the Dura Ace, but they were going to strip it off and maybe install like an Altegra. Uh, because of like, you know, it's cheaper and stuff, then I, I, I messaged Melvin and Melvin was like, Why bro, why don't you just go Dura A straight? I'm like, but, uh, um, uh, yeah, but so, regret or not? No, no regrets. Uh, correct decision or not? Uh, uh, a bit correct. <laughs> a bit correct. A bit correct. A bit correct. Okay. But yeah, I like it. Nice to do this. I, yeah. did, I didn't think that I was ever going to do this, but... Do also. Oh, so loud! Yeah, oh my goodness, yeah. One thing I like about the... But the Bond Ranger wheels are the hubs are the ailers are yeah, look quite like those, uh, crazy. Like those la la cars, like go la la like cars, <laughs> abing, 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 abing. abing. So, just nice the group came back at the junction here. So, now we're going back. Woo. Climb and Janda bike, <coughs> not as easy as I thought it would be. No joke. Jumpa lagi. That was fun. That was really fun. Okay, I better stop here to wait for people. Ready. Every junction, I better stop to make sure people who don't know the way know the way. <laughs> so I'm stopping at the junction here. Just to make sure people turn left. Steady ah. Steady ah. McD climb, McD climb. We're going to McD climb now. This is the last. What Jin say? It's a hill! MACD climb! Pain. Here comes the pain. 1km of about between 8 to 10 percent. Here comes the pain. I'm not gonna push me out there. No shame in pushing. Yeah. I did it before. No shame. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. oh. The walk itself is horrible. I'm gonna just stop here for a while. But damn. To be honest, uh, this climb here. Uh, brutal. 10% 1km. Brutal. Oh, Ivan, stay deep from Go, go, go. Got you. Halfway there, halfway there. Get us. The last time already. Good job, eh? A bit more. Yeah, uh, I love this. Uh... Jogging uh, expeditions, good. Duathlon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Duathlon. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Infamous McD climb has claimed some more victim. <laughs> but that's it. I think first time she'll push back. Last time I also pushed back here. Sudamari, kawanaku. Okay, we're here enjoying the beautiful view of the uh, high tension cable. <laughs> <laughs> Brings us energy. Charge. Oh, oh USB port, I can see charge. <laughs> oh, brutal. Oh, brutal. Well done. Oh, <laughs> Ivan is tough. It's downhill now? <laughs> it's downhill all the way now. Oh. Ah. Okay. I gotta, gotta be slow too. You gotta be slow too. Are you okay? Are you okay? Is everybody okay? No, I'm not okay. okay. I'm okay, man. I'm okay. You okay? Crema. Hard okay. Hard okay. Hey, okay. give up. Uh. Ian, you okay? We should play the song or not? Daddy bomb ma bomb BB. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Hey guys, when you go down, yeah, you go slow. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so bumpy, my goodness. This place terrible. Right, if you're going downhill, uh, like Jin was asking me, do you press the front brake more or the back brake more? I think generally when you're going downhill, you'll press both brakes equally. Uh. Because if you press the front brake too hard, you flip over. You press the back brake too hard, you will skid. 
So it's just pressing both brakes together to get an even uh, reduce, evenly reduce the force by front and back wheels. Lah. But naturally, when you do that, right, your front brakes will still wear off more because it will still have more force towards the front brake. So, yeah, so you press more front or back, you press both when you're going downhill. Downhill was fun, right? Awesome. Yeah. Ivan, time to pick up Ivan. So long now, it becomes sweeper already. So now, I, today I'm the designated sweeper. Here yeah, are my friends behind. Uh, the sweep hala hari ni. Another 10 km only lah. I think easy lah. Easy. <laughs> That's it. Right ended, we did 81. About 80 km only lah. Really santai a bit today. Whew. But not to say Santai also la. To, go, to be honest, so much climb, we got Santai la. KM way! Yeah! 80 KM way! Oh, awesome way! Oh, First yeah. time 80 KM for them, awesome! 80 KM done! And very proud of you, Ginny. Jin and Adrian, you guys did your first long ride above 80 KM. Next one, 100 KM, then you're good to go. Grand Fondo, you guys are awesome way. So it was a good ride, uh, then Ian's pedal broke. Unfortunately, Leo dropped us as usual. And let's call it a day. You guys take care, God bless, and see you next week. Oh, there, nah, proof. Kyo Blade. Do you ever use uh, look Kyo Blade pedals? Uh? This is a known thing. Uh. I, my pedal also broke before. So that's why I changed it to Altegra. Altegra, those without this kind of attachment uh, seems to be more reliable, I suppose. Anyway. Okay, you guys take care, God bless, and see you next week. Ciao.